Hello everyone, Richard here, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most frustrating police units in Payday 2, the Taser. In this video, we'll go over the stats behind the Taser, his behavior, tips on dealing with him, and various other information surrounding this special unit. Like his name implies, the Taser is a special enemy that has the ability to stun and eventually incapacitate players using a Taser. While by themselves they don't pose much of a threat, against a lone heister or when fighting with other units, they can quickly down a player. Thankfully, if you are downed by a Taser, it will not count towards your overall downs before going into custody. However, you are still susceptible to damage from other police units while being tased, so if you are downed from damage rather than the taser itself, then you will be one down closer to being in custody. While many of you already know the basics of what it's like to be stunned by a taser, it's important to note all the effects. First, upon being tased, your weapon that is currently equipped will, oddly enough, be instantly reloaded. Second, you will be incapable of moving, however, will retain some limited control over your aiming. You will also fire erratically, but this does give you the chance to stumble or even potentially kill the taser. After 10 seconds of being tased, you will become incapacitated and be unable to use any of your weapons. Players with the shockproof basic skill have a 30% chance every second to interrupt the taser's attack, giving a taser an effective 3% chance of downing you with the basic skill. The A skill allows you to instantly knock back the taser by interacting with him within 2 seconds of being tased. The taser, while not quite as durable as other police specials, namely the bulldozer and cloaker, is still a stiffer challenge compared to basic police units. Their health is dependent on difficulty, starting at 300 for normal and hard, 600 for very hard, 900 on overkill, and 1800 on mayhem and above. Like with any enemy, headshots are the most effective way of bringing tasers down as they will take increased damage from headshots. Again, like with health, the headshot damage multiplier will vary based on difficulty. It will start at 2 times for normal and hard, 4 times for very hard, 6 times for overkill, 4 times for mayhem, and 3 times for death wish and death sentence. Their fairly generous headshot multiplier emphasizes the need for headshots to efficiently take them down. Like with cloakers, the longer a taser remains within combat distance, the more likely they are to cause a disruption to your mission. There is a hard limit on how many tasers can be spawned in a mission, although scripted spawns for specific missions can override this. The limit is once again based on difficulty, and is 0 for normal, 2 for hard and very hard and overkill, and 3 for mayhem and above. Thankfully, tasers aren't the stealthiest of enemies, far from it actually, having a very distinguished voice compared to other police units. They will also charge up their taser, playing a very distinct charge up sound. They do tend to blend in quite well with other police units however, especially on hard, very hard and death sentence due to the respective SWAT color schemes. Dealing with tasers effectively simply comes down to enforcing good playing habits in general. This includes sticking together with other players, keeping your eyes and ears peeled, and target prioritization. While tasers aren't the biggest threat to players typically, it's important to evaluate each encounter contextually. For example, a taser next to two bulldozers is a much bigger problem than a taser next to a single basic police unit. Keep in mind that tasers do have an annoying habit of being able to hit you from tight angles or through shields, and I think this further emphasizes the need for good situational awareness. Most weapon types are effective against the taser, although typically automatic weapons fare better when being tased due to their increased probability of actually hitting the taser. Most snipers are capable of neutralizing tasers with a single headshot on death wish and below, and this allows you to eliminate them before the threat becomes greater. Shockproof is the simplest counter to the taser and is a common pick for a lot of dodge builds as it not only will prevent you from losing a lot of dodge potential from being tased but is also on the path to unlocking Sneaky Bastard. While both the basic and ace skill offer almost an entire immunity to tasers, I would say they're a bit of overkill for how much of a threat tasers present. Feign Death and Pistol Messiah can also help when fighting tasers if you are downed by gunfire as opposed to being tased. 
Both allow you to get back into the fight without your teammates having to put themselves into harm's way to save you. High value target is another worthwhile skill for helping you deal with tasers, especially for those using snipers or high accuracy assault rifles. Melee skills, especially Martial Artist and Pumping Iron Ace, are nice for dealing with tasers at close range as they are unable to tase you if they are knocked down by a melee strike. Bloodthirst Ace can be useful as well and pairs well with weapons that have long reloads like LMGs and launchers. Some interesting trivia about the taser is when playing as Bodhi and using the Platypus Sniper Rifle, headshots against tasers will cause the taser's head to explode. Overall, the taser, while lacking the same fear factor the cloaker and bulldozer have, can still be problematic if you aren't prepared or lack situational awareness. Ignore him at your own peril. Though tasers may prefer non-lethal methods, the results are anything but. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the taser in the comment section below, or check out my community section to vote on the next Payday video. Until then, happy hunting heisters.